Hello everyone. Welcome to the new video of Pragya Learning Center. Information and communication technology has become a part of our lives. Similarly, it has also become a part of syllabus of most of the competitive examinations. In this video, we will be discussing about different types of computer memory. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to this channel for more such videos. We all might be knowing that memory is a part of a computer or any other electronic device which stores information. Basically, there are two types of memory, primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is the main memory of the computer which can be directly accessed by the CPU or processor. Unlike primary memory, secondary memory cannot be directly accessed by the processor. Now we will see which are the types of primary memory and which are the types of secondary memory. Let's start with primary memory. The two most important types of primary memory are random access memory or RAM and read-only memory or ROM. Let's see what is RAM and what is ROM. Random access memory or RAM is a volatile memory that can be read and changed in any order. And it is used to store working data and machine code. So what is meant by volatile memory? Volatile memory means a type of memory which maintains the data only when the device is powered. For example, we have opened a number of tabs in our web browser and we are working on it. Suddenly, we switched off the computer without saving anything. What will happen? We will lose our data. This is because all the working data, unless saved, will be stored in RAM. And since RAM is a volatile memory, once the device is switched off, we lose the information stored in RAM. Now, let's see what is ROM. Read-only memory or ROM is a non-volatile memory used in computers and other electronic devices. As we have discussed earlier, since ROM is a non-volatile memory, the data stored in ROM will not be lost even if the power is off. Also, data stored in ROM cannot be electronically modified after the manufacture of the device. Now, let's take a quick recap on the differences between RAM and ROM. RAM stands for random access memory while ROM stands for read-only memory. And RAM is a volatile memory while ROM is a non-volatile memory. We have already discussed what is meant by volatility. Next, RAM temporarily stores files you are working on. Anything stored in RAM is accessible and can be changed. At the same time, ROM permanently stores instructions for your computer, especially at the time of booting. Information stored in ROM cannot be changed or altered. Next, RAM is a high-speed memory while ROM is slower than RAM. These are the differences between RAM and ROM. Let's move on to the next type of primary memory that is cache memory. Cache memory is also a volatile computer memory. When we use some websites or applications, some data from them will be stored in our system so that next time when we use the same website or application, the data will be retrieved faster. These information are stored in a small memory called cache memory. Cache memory provides high-speed data access to a processor and makes data retrieving easier and more efficient. So, we have discussed about three types of primary memory, RAM, ROM and cache memory. Now, we will see which are the types of secondary memory. We have already discussed that secondary memory is a type of memory where the processor has no direct access. Hard disk is the most important secondary memory of a system. It is where we store all our digital content. When we buy a computer, 
we say that it is of 500 GB or 1 TB, etc. This refers to the hard disk storage capacity. Hard disk can be either external or internal. Now we have flash drives, another type of secondary memory. All our pen drives, memory card, etc. comes under flash drive. It is a small electronic chip which is used as a medium of data storage. It is also used to transfer data from one computer to another computer. Due to its very small size, it is often called thumb drive. So we have discussed about RAM, ROM and cache memory which comes under primary memory and flash drive and hard disk which comes under secondary memory. Now let's check which memory is faster and which memory is slower. Always keep in mind that the speed of the memory depends upon how near it is to the processor. When the memory is nearer to the processor, it will be faster. And when the memory is farther to the processor, it will be slower. So this is how different types of computer memories are situated. Cache memory is the nearest to the processor. So it will be the fastest. Then comes the primary memory since it is directly accessed by the processor. In primary memory, RAM will be faster than ROM. Then comes secondary memory where hard disk will be faster than flash drive. If you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.